Hey, what up, YouTube? This is going to be part two in my DIY solar. Start off by saying that I am not an electrician. I am not advising you on how to do wiring or do any insulation. This is only how I went about doing it. So here's some products here that uh, I couldn't find videos on or very few. So the two on the left, I couldn't find any videos on at all. And the one on the right, I could basically only find like generic time-lapse install videos that are from far. They don't give you any information up close. Maybe it's a liability thing, I don't know. So here's what we got. So the one on the left here, is the in phase combiner box it's kind of like a sub panel or pretty much is a sub panel now this can be mounted inside or outside and this is what all this solar hooks into all right so as you can see it's pretty much a sub panel you have holes for your breakers four holes this one's already installed because this is for the iq envoy this is specifically to go with your iq micro inverters and so you put your breakers in from your different groups of panels and then you put another breaker in. This is where I'm gonna put the breaker in for the batteries. So I'm gonna have three groups and then my batteries are gonna be tied in here. Down here you have your production CT. This monitors how much electricity you're producing from your panels. And uh, then I'm going to be adding in two more CTs at the main panel to show or to monitor my consumption that I'm consuming from the grid. And all that can be tracked with the Enlighten app. So here's a close up of it. This is all clear plastic. It keeps you from being able to touch live wires, but allows you to see it. I, maybe it's a neat thing, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I mean, I guess uh, you can actually see the wiring and stuff like that going on in there. So then we'll move on to the next thing. So this is the bracket for the batteries. So if you're unfamiliar with the in-phase system, they have what, sh what they call our AC batteries. Maybe we should go on to that next. We'll start with that and then we'll go back to the bracket. So this is the AC battery. It's got scratches on it and stuff like that. Scuffs because I got it as a customer return and saved 10%. So they call this an AC battery because it's got a, a micro inverter already in it. So you have AC power going in and out. So it's, it's not very big as you can see but uh, it is kind of heavy and it stores about 1.2 kilowatt hours of electricity the advantage to this over say the tesla power wall and the lg chem batteries this is modular so you can add in as many or as few as you want say you have an extra you have an extra two grand here and you can drop it there or spend it there or here or whatever whereas the with the lg and the tesla power wall you're having to drop ten to twelve thousand dollars all up front so this is something that you can just install as few or as many as you want and you can and install more later if you want to this is also also something that you can easily install yourself so that's what makes this really nice. So the bottom of it, I'll show you the bottom. It's just got this cover on there, which pops off. 
so under here there are two plugs this one is disconnected for shipping if you see that so you you're going to connect this later but that's for safety reasons and then this one plugs into the bracket so we'll go back over to the bracket and this is how you actually install it so they have two different size brackets you see where the holes are for 16 inch studs and 24 inch spaced studs doesn't matter for me because I'm gonna be installing it into block so spacing doesn't matter at all so when I got this I couldn't believe how easy this was going to be to install stand it up here so that he can get a better look at it get a better angle so cover going to take the cover off show you what we got going inside here so this is how you wire it so these wires go to the battery which you don't have to do any wiring there so you're going to wire it in from the, the right side so there's two holes on each side and so you're going to have it come in from the combiner box on one side and that junction box has holes all over the place so you can bring the wiring in from the, the wall side, from the left side, from the right side, from the bottom. So you're going to bring uh, your set of wires from the combiner box go into uh, one set of these holes then you're going to bring your next set of wires out and bring it take it to the next battery nice and easy and then when you put the slide and lock the battery onto it you just plug it in switch down here it's got a lock so that you can lock it in the off position you can even put a little padlock in there so i could not find clear videos on the installation of the battery or any videos on the combiner box so I wanted to show you these and uh, so I will show include some video of me installing it
before we got uh, everything installed that we're going to do today. Hopefully the time lapse showed some of it. So we'll take a closer look. The only thing that I wired in so far are the the batteries. Batteries are wired into the wired into the breaker over there. If you look on the back in the plastic, it is labeled line one, line two. I got the neutral and round. This is going to be a junction box right here. This is where the different sections of solar panels are going to come into. I'm also going to have the main line from the main breaker come in here. That's why there's two separate pieces of conduit here. This upper one is going to be the main line coming into the box. It's going to tie in right here. And then this one's going to be all the other lines, the batteries and all the solar panels are going to run through this line. So you come down, it comes through, goes into the first bracket, and hopefully you can see it through the, that mess. The upper one I did for the in, and then the lower one for the out, and then runs along over here, and then comes over here, and again, upper for the in. And then the lower one will be for the out when I add in more batteries because I will be adding in more batteries, but I'm just starting off with two at the moment. Starting with two batteries and 22 305 watt solar panels. So here's what it looks like with the batteries hung and with the junction box closed and the combiner box closed. Open it up because I put that plastic cover back on. Now you can see it. I installed the breakers already. Now one thing I have to remember when I'm backing into the garage is basically that's my tennis ball for my side mirror. So I line that up. So I just gotta make sure that I don't swing the front end too far over and uh, stick my mirror into this battery. Might uh, end up just sticking a piece of foam to it just in case, because I know my luck. So that's what we are going to do today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Why pay someone when I can do it myself?